Hi, I'm Dave. We're here in LA and we're doing an install of Fan Attic by New Light Solutions. This is a solar powered device. I've taken the hood off of this unit in preparation for this unique install. It's low slope uh, garage roof here and it's being with a torch down top. We built a little curved box, give it a slight little cant so we get our best sun exposure. And our good roofer here is going to torch this body into place in a few seconds and then we'll replace the hood this baby is going to start humming. My name is Jose. I'm here doing an introduction on the um, torch down versus um, putting down a, one of the solar vents. But right here we have a box that we want to wrap it up. And we have a first layer going up four inches with proper can strip. We've got to wrap the walls up. I need to wrap on top of the plate. And then we're going to set the plate of the um, solar vent so we can adapt it properly. And then we'll put another piece of modified torch. I'm mechanically fastening. I like to screw it down with several screws, making sure that the flashing stays nice and flush to the deck. But especially for this, this um, unique um, solar system, it's a unique um, fan vent, and it works with uh, solar. If you're worried about water coming in, you don't have to because we have material tucked in underneath. And now we're gonna put another layer of material over, over the, uh, the metal plate, which is gonna run off directly off the roof right here into the deck and it runs off. So he'll have it completely roofed over the flashing, That's over great. the screws, and completely watertight. Down. There we go. Right here with the um, material joints in the middle, normally put a little piece in the middle, that way water does not drip in. You need no mastic on this. Zero mastic on a modified torch down. You gotta use a modified torch or you're gonna bleed some of the asphalt out of the material. Okay, well we're replacing the hood now. We've uh, come full circle. We just gotta line it back up onto the bracket, put the screws in, and I've already hooked up the wires and it's already running right now. It just starts running on its own immediately. The only issue to remember is where the screws came out, the screws wanna go back in. Just take your time, I usually just do them by hand for a second, reach and get the little drill motor and we're done. Okay, well this unit's in and installed. This is the, again the Fan Attic by New Light Solutions. It's a solar powered device that can run at 850 CFM. That dramatic amount of airflow pulling out that hot air will cut down the heat load in your attic by 50, 55 degrees. On an average 90 degree day, your attic could hit high 150s, 160. Bring it down to 105. That translates in single story into about five to seven degrees. In double, in two story, that's gonna be about eight to 10 degrees. Now that's a lot of money if you're running air conditioning and that's how this thing pays for itself in one year or less.